Hello. Can you hear me now? <clears throat> All right. Welcome back, everybody. So it's been a little while since I've done a stream. Um, but that uh, reason for that um, had a lot going on, but also just I got sick. And with that, probably with that uh, disease that we're not allowed to talk about on the internet at the result of getting demonetized for some reason. So anyway, we won't discuss that, but I'm good now. All right, so here we sit brokenhearted, paid a dime. Um, we are playing Satisfactory. And uh, it says early access up here. I don't know why it still says that. I mean, is it still considered early access? I don't know. Anyway, we're sitting here. I'm thinking I have not touched this game in a long time. And I think the reason I stopped messing with it is because it actually started stressing out this previous system I had. Um, and uh, it started crashing and doing a whole bunch of other things, but uh, it, it made itself kind of unplayable. So I said, you know what? Um, I'm not going to stream that anymore. I'm not going to mess with it. And then I started playing with it a little bit more lately since the new update came out. A new update came out, by the way, in case you didn't know. Update 8. I'm just going to adjust this thing here a little bit. Uh, camera, we adjust that a little bit? Nope. Yeah, guess so, a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Um, anyway, so with the new update, and I got a, I've got a system a couple of years back that should be able to handle it without any pro trouble. So I started messing around with it this past week, and uh, it started locking up again. I was going to stream with it, and it started locking up again. Um, and then I realized that it was doing that because I needed to upgrade my NVIDIA software. So I went, or update it. I went ahead and updated it and I have not had a lockup since. So, I mean, the computer should more than handle it, but uh, it apparently wasn't doing so because non-update. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and start the game. And okay, it says enable to skip onboarding process and start the game at tier one. Yes, we're gonna do that. Um, you know how it is with some of these games. There's always this pre, uh, there's like a tutorial process you go through. You all have to go through the same thing every time and you end up at the same place. It just eats time and I really don't want to eat that. So I'm going to go ahead and enable that. And it's basically going to put me in the condition I would be in after I'd completed the tutorials, which if you've played this game before, you know what they are. We're not going to mess with them. So let's just skip right to the good stuff where we can actually, we have a free reign. So it doesn't give us any advantage otherwise. It's all it does is it removes the tutorial process. Okay. Which I don't know, depending on how eager you are, could take anywhere from like 10 minutes to an hour, however incompetent you are or incompetent, whatever. So. Um, let me know if anyone's listening. I see one person viewing, but that's probably just me monitoring my own stream. But anyway, if the music is overpowering or if you can't hear it, let me know. I've got other music playing in the background, not the satisfactory music. Satisfactory music kind of annoys me a little bit. Um, I think this is more fitting. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and pick our starting spot. And I think we'll start Rocky Desert. Um... I kind of like the dune desert, um, but you know what? Let's start with the grass fields for now. Um, okay, so back, let me back up a little bit. What area are we starting at? Well, <clears throat> if you've ever played a game like Minecraft, you're used to uh, procedurally generated maps. This one does not have that. It has one map and that one map is uh, pretty good size but it is what you've got to deal with it's got a few different biomes in it um a few you can go in between the biomes later on um they are designed in such a way where you're 
they're sort of uh, ice cube trade, separated, isolated from each other until you have the technology to overcome that. Um, but uh, otherwise, we have access to the whole map, but it is a single map, okay? You, every player of Satisfactory gets this map. Kind of unfortunate, but it's, it's my only one real complaint with this game. Otherwise, if you're familiar with it, if you're not familiar with it, it's a sort of a first-person Factorio. If you've ever played Factorio, this is a first-person version of that game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and drop ourselves on the planet. Um, gist of it is, we're on, just like Factorio, we're on the planet. And we... One slight difference, instead of... Uh, instead of getting into a rocket and getting off the planet, our goal here is to, sat is to satisfy our corporate overlords with the various to-do lists that they give us. So we're gonna go ahead and, and start that process for the Fix-It Company. Okay, this is basically just gonna plop us on the map, plop us on the, uh... okay, so here we are. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna do a thing. No, you know what? No, that's good. I'll leave the, I'll show you something. If I move, no, where am I? Let's do the camera. If I move the camera a little bit, you can see there's something underneath it, but all it is basically is a uh, key bind, sort of a, um, yeah, basically sort of a key bind guide. So it's okay if I cover that up. So I'm, I know where to put the camera in the case of like Minecraft, but as far as, uh, or M Minecraft or Factorio or whatever, but as far as satisfactory goes, it's been a while since I've had to deal with it. All right. I think we're getting, I think that's good. Okay, let me scan around here and see what we got. All right, yeah, frame rate looks pretty good. We're sitting at about 60 FPS, which is what we want. All right, so let's take a look around. We are basically in the middle of this area. We've got, oh, oh right, fix miss. There's an event going on, the Christmas event, the there's these presents, these gifts that are dropped, airdropped all over the place. And we can use those later in the game to buy components to basically um, redecorate, shall we say. But we're not there yet. Let's take a look. Uh, let's check and see what we've got. Okay, we can create the hub. We do need to do that. Um, and let's see what we got in our inventory. We've got four mining machines, excellent. Uh, we've got some concrete, uh, iron rods. Okay, reinforced plate, that must have been from the, um, what you call it? Okay, Xeno Zapper, that's what I was looking for. This is the little bit of a weapon that we have at the moment. Ain't great, but it'll work. So, we're going to find some kind of low tier bad guys around here. Uh, but the first thing we need to do is set up our hub. Actually, okay, we don't have foundations yet. That's a bummer. So we're we're gonna have to set up our hub. Um, in a place. Okay, we're gonna grab these bushes and everything as we find them, because we can use those to power ourselves later on. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a spot down here where we can set up some mining machines. Yes, there is. Oh, wait, is it, is there? No, maybe not. Huh, I might have this confused with something else. Okay, what we need to do is find an iron deposit. We need to find some uh, limestone deposits so we can make foundation materials. This actually isn't a terrible place to set up our base eventually. All right, let's scope. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Can we do this thing? Yes, let's do a scan for iron ore. All right, okay, that direction. We'll go that way. Let's take a look at the map. Oh, we can't, we don't have access to the map. Ooh, poo, okay. Well, let's go that direction. See if we can find these, uh, these deposits. 
Okay, this direction we said. We'll pick these up as we go. Not all of them, but we'll get there. All right. You can see the terrain around us. There's a lot going on. Okay, what was that? Is that you? I heard something. Usually as we get close to mineral deposits, we end up getting some Xenos that we're going to have to fight. Yep. And there two of them are. Oh no, it's just the one. There isn't a second one? Right there, you see it? All right. Let's see if we can go engage him. Because in order for us to do what we got to do, we have to get that guy out of the way. Okay, I know where we are now. Yeah, this... Okay, yep, unauthorized hostility. So here's how we face these guys. Oh, they still hit me. Okay. Jump. Okay. We gotta poke him. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna hurt me. Come on. There you are. Come on. Okay, we gotta hit him about three or four times to kill him. Okay, he's... Alright. Come on, buddy. Yep, I think we got him. And he took half of our life force in the process, but so be it. Okay, he's dead. The remains of this creature might shed light on how to increase chances of survival. Yep. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Sure, we'll get there. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking, let's collect these presents. And let's break up these uh, formations on top of these deposits right here. All right, that's one. I could have sworn there's more than one of these bad boys around. Now we have a way to get food. Something to uh, rejuvenate ourselves because um, we kind of need it. We're, it'll slowly regenerate. Our, our health will slowly regenerate, but right now we're kind of in trouble. Uh, oh, I see something over there. That might be what we're looking for. Some kind of raspberry looking thing. Oh, I can't remember what we call them in this game. This is Paleberry. Okay. In your vicinity, which are within approved nutritional and medical categories as established by R and D. A new research tree. All right, let's eat them things. Now. Yep, that knocks us up one. It knocks us up. Um. That brings us up. Oop, hang on. Get the Xeno Zapper going. Ah, uh, key controls. Gag, gag, gummit. All right, there we go. Okay, that uh, each berry, each whatever that we eat brings us up one unit. So we got that done. So this is an iron ore deposit. And they're rated by their quality. Right now, this is considered normal. There's pure, which is better than that. And then there's impure, which is worse than normal. So it's a sort of a three-stage rating. Okay. Well, what we can do is we got these portable miners, which are the neatest looking things. Okay. So E or just click it. They're freaking cool. I mean, they're really freaking cool. Okay, so that's the one. And we'll put another one 
right here. Actually, no. Okay, first, let's set up the hub. We gotta set up the hub. Alright, uh... Kinda like that. And let's see if we can build ourselves one more miner. Oh, no, you know what we need to make? We need to make an equipment, uh... An equipment workshop. Do we not have an equipment workshop? I don't think we do. Okay. Let's put it over here. Alright. And with that... Yeah. Portable miner. Let's make one more. Is this music too loud? It seems like the it seems like the game volume is really low. All right, so what I'm gonna do? All right, um, let's drop the volume on this thing because right now I can't control. I can't control the music separately from the game for some reason, and that's not cool. All right. <sighs> so now we have five of these portable miners. I want to put two on the iron. Oh, no, no, no. Put two on the iron. Now there's one more over here we're going to put for a uh, limestone. But the other thing we want to find is copper. We need copper. And if I remember correctly, copper is somewhat removed from where we are. All right, let's uh put that right there. Okay, the hub. Let's take a look at the hub for a second. This is important because this is where we're going to get our list of uh, to do th of our to do list. All right. In order to advance up certain tech. Oh, look at that. That is the cutest thing. Eh. Nice. That's new. All right. So the hub <coughs> gives us a choice. Um, in order to complete tier one, these are the three areas we need to complete. Okay, let's start with base building. We want foundations. Actually, what's the other one? Logistics, what does that give us? Uh, conveyor, splitter. No, that's not necessary. What about field research? Beacon, object scanner. We need a MAM. We do need that. But I think the biggest thing is base building. We want foundations. So, we can... Um... We can go ahead and select this. And what that tells us is we can take the materials we have on hand and fill the quota of what we need. We need concrete, we need iron plates, and we need iron rods. Okay, so how do we get those? Well, some of them I got from as part of the tutorial. They came from disassembling some of the materials we had on hand, some of the, uh, like our... Um, our landing pod. We had to disassemble our landing pod. That gave us some of these materials, which obviously we skipped that portion, so we don't see it. We also already have a storage box for now. And in that, I'm gonna go ahead and put the leaves. Let's put, we have some iron ore. We'll hang on to that. Get rid of the uh, present, the Christmas stuff. We'll get rid of the remains of that hog thing that we killed. And flower petals, which when you when you pick up things off the ground, sometimes you pick up plants. Just happens. Wood, we picked up some wood. We'll throw that in the box too because we don't need it yet. And is this new? This sort feature? I think that might be new. Yeah, very cool. Okay, so these things are going to continue to mine on their own until we come and empty them out. And they've already collected a whole bunch of iron. Let's 
go ahead and pick them up. Once it's emptied, they'll go back to mining. 100 iron ore is all they will hold. And now let's go over here to the concrete, or the limestone. The limestone we're going to use to make concrete. If you didn't already guess. So, by this checklist, you can see we fulfilled our quota of iron plates. But we need iron rods, and we need concrete. And the limestone is going to help us with that. So let's, we take that, we emptied all the mining machines out. And uh, let's head on back, y'all. Oi. Alright, uh, over here, crafting bench. Okay, so because we have iron ore in our inventory, we can make iron ingots. And iron ingots are needed to make iron plates and iron rods. So let's go ahead and make a bunch. This is kind of cool. You, you hit this craft button, but if you look, the surface around the craft button actually starts to turn red from the heat as if you're using that button itself as a place to forge what you're doing. It's kind of cool. Little nuances in this game are, are pretty awesome. Well, let's go ahead. We're going to make a bunch of iron ingots because we got to make some rods. And let's see, we need let's see, 200 minus 58 is 142. So we need 142 iron rods. No, I'm sorry. Take that back. No, 52. 100 minus 52 is 48. So we need 48 iron rods. How many we got so far? Um... Okay, we got enough. We got enough iron ingots to make 64 iron rods. Let's go ahead and knock those out. So we need a total of 42. And then concrete. We're going to have to make a bunch of concrete. We only have enough limestone to make 20? 20 concrete? Really? Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and drop that Oh, well, you know what? Let's finish our concrete. Let's go ahead and do that. Yep. Yeah, we're going to be well short of what we need. Okay, there's our concrete. With that, let's go ahead and dump it in the ma'am. We should meet our requirements for the iron rods. Yes. Okay, concrete. Well, I was going to go on and get some more freaking concrete. And where did I say it was? Over here. Okay. Once we get this underway, then we have the ability to create foundations. And you're going to see foundations are really important for organization because there's another issue with this game. And it's, I, I'm going to call it a non, it's an issue, but it's a non-issue. It's my own issue with the game. And which means it's really nothing because there's a fix. Um, the problem I have with the game is that it's because it's a two-dimensional game um, Left click. Yeah, okay. There we go because it's it's a three-dimensional game You don't get the overhead view that Factorio gives you so um, So it makes it kind of hard to do planning But the game understands this. Okay. What do we got for organization storage container? That's it. Okay. The game understands this, um, and it gives you a couple of ways to get around it. Um, because again, if you can't look overhead and see your map, which I, I can't look at my map, can I? Because you can't look at your map, um, or you don't get a really good view of your construction on the map. You'll see later, you, you, you don't. Um, you can see the overall kind of terrain and everything but you don't see your own construction you actually last time i tried to to use the map it actually required you to go to a certain like there was a website that you could upload your save file to and it would show what the map looked like at the time you saved it's very clumsy all right but i want to show you something else as well so you can see we've got these automatic mining machines, but when we set up the MAM, I mean, they power themselves, 
but you have to go manually pull everything out of them. Okay, it's a pain in the neck. So, uh, again, they're portable, but they're manually controlled. You can, let's see, if I go to production, I should have access to the miners, Mark 1. Okay, yes, there is a Mark 1 miner. And with this, let's see, is there another? Right there, we should be able to. But what am I missing? I'm missing concrete. Okay, this is a mining machine, but it needs to be powered up. And in order to power, be powered up, we have to plug it into our own biomass burners. So what we can do is we can take leaves and wood and other stuff that we found and toss it into these biomass burners and actually generate power. So that's a thing that we can do. And now, do we also have access to the smelter? Yes, we do. Yes, we do, but we need copper wire for that. Do I need it for the miner? I don't. Okay. Okay, so let's do a thing. Let's just set this up. All right, let's set up our mining machine. What did I say we needed? We need concrete. Okay, well, we picked up a bunch of limestone. Let's go ahead and make more concrete. We didn't pick up nearly enough. You know what I'm thinking? I'm kind of thinking maybe we don't put the mining machine on the iron. Maybe we put it on the concrete. That would be good. In fact, I'm leaning that way. Okay, now, what else we got? Oops, not that. Not that gummit. Constructor. We do have access to the constructor. Okay. Okay. So maybe we set up a constructor to work on concrete instead of iron whatever. Okay. So if we go to the constructor, we see, we look at the lower right, it says that the stats are, it costs era the stats are it takes up four megawatts okay it eats four megawatts in order to do its job uh so what is the miner yeah the smelter is four the constructor is four the miner is five so if we have one of each then that's five four and four which is 13 and let's check out the capacity of these burners on the back of the hub What's the capacity? 20. Okay, so one of these would do the job. All right. Um, first of all, let's set up a utility pole. You need to hook this up to a connection. Oh, okay, let's do that. We can set up a utility pole. And then we can run cable to that pole. One here. And each pole can accept four connections. So here's what we're gonna do. This pole, all it does is get the power off the burners, okay? And puts it onto the grid. And so let's set another pole up over here. Bring this there. And now we're gonna set up another pole. Actually, you know what we can do? All we need is this wire. Let's see how far we can stretch it. Okay, right there. All right. Oh, look at this too. There's another uh, another feature, seeing as how it is Christmas. They put these wreaths on the power poles. Pretty cool. Okay. What did I say? I got the concrete I needed, right? Okay, so let's pick up these mining machines. Let's see, pick up the miner. Okay. And I think we'll aim the miner this way. Okay, what are we missing? What do you mean invalid? Oh, okay. Right, 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 right. We got to get rid of this thing. We got to get rid of that. Okay. Let's get rid of this feature. You have to clean off the site before you can put the mining machine down. So we'll go ahead and let our guy beat the crap out of that. Okay. 
Okay. Once that's broken down, we can put the miner in place. I said we would head that way approximately. Okay. We'll go ahead and attach this to the miner. All right. Next, I don't think we'll put it in storage. I think we'll go straight to a constructor. And let's go ahead and get the constructor out. All right, actually, let's go ahead and climb this puppy so we can get as close to an aerial view, close to an overhead view as possible. Okay, we see the output of our own machine and we're gonna set this constructor up so it roughly matches that. Right about there. And that's gonna create our concrete. And the next thing we'll do is we'll set up our storage. And we go under organization and we find our storage container. And now you see there's an input and an output. Okay. So we got that set up. Now, this, this is actually kind of my favorite part is setting up the belts. I do love setting up these belts. Uh, three, there we go. Now, what we can do is it gives us a start. It just, here's, here's the ghosting of our, uh, I can't afford it. Oh, cause we need iron plates. Okay. Let's, we do need iron plates for these conveyor belts. Let's go ahead and make some. Okay, also what we're gonna do is start gathering up all the vegetation in the area. And just, it's, you're gonna, you put your cursor right over it, it says E, press E to pick up the leaves so you can do that. Now some of them are trees and you can't pick them up, they're too big. You need something else to get them. And we don't have a chainsaw yet. And we don't have access to it yet. So just forget about it for now. <clears throat> oh, here's, here's D's barrel nuts. D's nuts. So we'll go ahead and pick them up. Can I not pick this up? No, I guess I can't. Okay. So we'll pick up some leaves. Pick up the Christmas gift. All right, before we start on that, before we actually throw anything into the bio burner, in fact, let me go ahead and pull the other leaves out of here along with the wood. Okay, let's put the Xeno Zapper in and now let's drop our nuts in the box. That's just wrong. Okay. Um, what did I say? We need to make some iron ingots and then we need to make some iron some uh, iron plates so we'll go ahead and hammer out some of the uh, some of the ore into ingots and uh, this will give you an idea of how automation works in this game how it works to set up it's it, it really is cool I enjoy it a lot um, again the hardest part of this game is just keeping everything organized I mean if spaghetti was a problem in Factorio it is doubly so in this game because it's kind of hard to get an overhead view of what you're doing your belts when you finally do get to see what you've built from overhead a view that you didn't have before it looks you're like what the hell did i do was i drunk all right so how many iron plates i can make 42 iron plates all right that should be enough for now so now we go to the iron plates. Ooh. Yeah, it's good to play this game again and not have issues with the graphics or... And which, you know, when I started having... When the game started locking up, I was really disappointed. It's like, look, I've, I've had issues with games um, powered by the Unity engine before, but <laughs> the Unreal engine? I was a little surprised. I believe this game is an Unreal. Um, I think the engine behind it is Unreal. So, I've never had an issue with that. 
Unity? Yeah. I have had some issues with that. All right. So what else we got? We just need concrete. And we're gonna we're gonna check this block and move on to the next tier, or at least work toward it. Okay. Get a bunch of these plates. thing we need to do once we get the belt set up we need to make sure that the constructor is hooked into the power grid the storage doesn't need any power so we're gonna build a belt from the mining machine down to the constructor Okay, you can see the conveyor belt doing its thing. You can even climb on it if you want, if you can manage to get on it. And it will pull you along unless you stand on the edge. So, all right, but right, the, the conveyor belts don't need any power. <clears throat> These equipment here do. Now they're hooked up to the power plant, but they are not powered yet. Also, let's go ahead and connect that to that. Now we've set up the constructor, but we got to tell it what to build. And in this case, we're going to tell it to work on concrete. I saw biomass. I did. Um, you know what? I'm tempted to do that. Can I build another constructor? I kind of want to build another constructor. Can I afford it? Yes, I can. I can construct it. Um, only thing is... Um... I need a place to send stuff. What about storage? How much how much does it cost for storage? I don't have enough to make a storage plant. Okay, we're gonna tell this to make biomass out of leaves. And I think biomass. Did I pull the biomass up? No, I have not. Okay. I'm not sure which of those. I think that's just two different ways of making biomass. But <clears throat> I think they're a more efficient fuel for the power plant. All right, let's go ahead. Grab the leaves. Actually, you know what? Hi there. What are you looking for? It's right up there. Yep, that's it. Can you close the... Yep, thank you. Okay. Okay. One of my daughters needed some duct tape. And we're in my shop, so I have the ability to provide it. Okay. <clears throat> Anywho. Okay, so what was I doing? I was... Oh, creating some biomass. Alright, there we go. But I need some leaves. Which I... Put in here. Alright, so let's go ahead and craft a whole bunch of biomass. Okay, created all the biomass I can create. How 
much did I say the constructors suck up as far as power? Okay, four. So if I place biomass in one, Okay. Oh yeah, immediately. I'm sucking down 13. So now we should start seeing the mining machine doing its thing. There it is. Yep, there we go. So it's coming in, it's creating concrete. Oh, what's with the fog? Alright, so what I'm going to do now, while I wait for a bunch of concrete to be made... Let's go ahead and start sucking up some of these trees. rather not the trees I don't have I don't have the ability to uh, to grab any trees kind of stinks because wood is a pretty good material but you can find some driftwood actually oh here we go grab that or not driftwood but sometimes you can find wood lying on the ground you can pick it up some uh, fallen wood now we need copper as well but I'd like to get at least one of these lists, one of these to-do lists checked off before we go venture looking for copper because unfortunately we're going to have to get up close and personal with some other creatures. And uh, don't really want to do that, but we're going to have to. Keep feeling like I can hear them. All right, we've got a ton of leaves. I know we're sort of killing time at this point. I really just want that concrete to be made. Okay, when I picked up those, I should have a bunch of limestone. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and turn that limestone into concrete. I can do that. All right. Don't want to wander too far anyway. Bad things, man. Bad things. Okay, so... If we can build foundations, we can start to organize our stuff a little bit easier. Because it basically creates sort of a snap-to grid where we can start placing our buildings, our belts, and just uh, help align things a lot better. Oops, let's grab that. I don't know how long that biomass is going to last. It's not going to be a lot. All right, let's grab that. How about this? Is this full? No, it's not. Okay, there we go. That'll load it up some. And if we go ahead and put a whole bunch of leaves there, we can grab this biomass. There we go. So that's why I've... Oh, and we can use the poles as a way to check what our current load, our electrical load is. And as you can see right now, we have a consumption of 13 megawatts, but we have a capacity of 20 because that's the power plant that we're using, a 20 megawatt power plant. And we're producing 13 and the maximum consumption is 13. Now, why is that? Because that I thought that was 17 megawatts worth of stuff. But maybe I'm wrong. Huh. Oh, I didn't. I, I don't have a smelter set up. That's why. That's another thing that we can do. Okay, let's see what what uh, concrete, what limestone we do have. We'll go ahead and make some concrete. 
Hmm. We're going to use a ton of concrete for, uh, um, we're going to use it for foundations, so it, we might as well have it. Okay. Boom. Let's see. Biomass. Oh, do I have the ability to create biomass from wood? Yes, I do. Okay. We'll take it. Must have collected some wood in the process as well. This is the one that's at work. Okay. There's tons there. Okay, we'll fill that up. <coughs> What else we got? The berries. We can get, dump those, I think. Get rid of the berries. Uh, what do we got here? That's the biomass that we just made. Alright, outstanding. Um, that's wood. We'll take that. I'd forgotten that we were using that. Alright, the wood we can turn into biomass as well. Okay. Let's see where we're at over here. Hmm. Still, oh, you know what though? No, 143? Uh, I think that's enough. I think that is enough. Yeah, because we need 121. We got 143 concrete. Let's go ahead. Let's launch this bad boy. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, boom. All right. Now that basically means we've, we've met the requirements for that to-do list. Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures. What? Free infrastructure and improved overview. Yeah, whatever. Building these will provide a grid okay. for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. Okay, it'll be back. It's gone. Now, we can't do anything with it right now because it's on its way somewhere else, not here. But, what we will find is if we take a look here, it says foundations. We've done it. We have the ability to create foundations. Now for that we need concrete and we need iron plates. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. So with that in mind... <coughs> Let's see what we've created here. If I can pick this out. Because now I'm tempted. I'm very tempted to set up a mining machine and another constructor. No, a smelter. And start smelting some iron. I think we can do that. Uh, just for gits and shiggles, just to sort of get us going. Alright, do I have... Can I create a miner? Yes, I can. Oh. It's a back. Come on, drop it. Just just put it right there. You can, you can do it. Won't hurt you. Cool animation, though. All right, so milestone exchange concluded. Fix it, freighter reentry complete. All right, so let's actually put another pole here. Oh no, we got one there. We'll put. I think we'll put a pole right here. Connect it to this. Though, sometimes the four connection limit can be a little 
constricting, but I think we're okay. I think we're okay if we do this right. Um, so now the smelter... Oh, wait, where are we at as far as power goes? Uh, 13, but that's only because we're not working on any biomass. How much is the smelter going to set us back as far as power goes? Uh, four megawatts. Oh, we need more rods. All right, let's make more rods. Oh, okay. Maybe we can s select our next logistics inventory slots would be good. The map would be good. The man would be good. Okay, let's do that. Let's get that going. Okay, so we need coils of copper wire, which how many do we have? Thirty-six not enough so i'm not and we need the ones we've got so i'm not even gonna go there so i'm not gonna add anything to it but uh what did i say um yeah so this is going to allow us to do additional research additional types of research don't need that ability at the moment Okay, smelter. What are we missing for smelter? Oh, that's right, the iron rods. Okay, got it. Let's go ahead and do that. We really need to go for copper. Um, where are we? All right, Joe. Iron rod. Oh, I can only make one? Really? All right, let's make some iron ingots. We'll have to make screws as well. How many iron ingots do I have? Oh, not a, not a lot. All right, well, let's make a bunch of iron rods. And I am gonna need some iron plates. So we'll go ahead and bash some more ingots. And with that, we'll make some more iron plates. What I'm about to do is set up the ability to make more iron ingots. So this part of it, this turning iron ore into ingots will not be an issue. Plates. How many do I have anyway? 53? Okay. Oh, that's it. Okay. Smelter. Alright, let's uh, get up on the mining machine. And see if we can lay out the smelter in a somewhat nice way. Alright, that's the entrance. Put it right there. And then that is going to go into a storage unit if we have the ability to make one. Oh, there's the tower. We can make the tower if we want. Okay. Can we get up here? No, guess we can't. Okay, eh, I tried. I'm actually going to set it out just a little ways so that if we want to we could put a, a merging a merger in here if we wanted to you know double our output because we've got a bunch of we've got a bunch of places we can put miners but uh okay put that run that to there run that to there Okay, now we have to tell the smelter what to make, and we want it to make iron ingots. Okay, which it should do. No power. And what does our power system look like right now? Uh, 
Okay, max consumption of 18, but the current consumption is jumping around a little bit. All right. That goes to there. This goes... Yeah. Okay, so then we start to see iron ingots coming out. Great. And we could make those into iron plates if we wanted to. But I think the time has come. Let's see. What can we drop in here? We'll drop that. I got a bunch of biomass. We'll check the levels in the power plants. Get rid of the rose petals. Okay, what do we need to make a mining machine? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, we need more concrete. Um, no, we have enough concrete to make the mining machine, but we're going to need more. Alright. Uh, gimme, gimme, gimme. 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 Okay. Let's see how much concrete we actually have. Grabby, grabby. All right. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so we got a bunch of concrete. Yeah, I think we should hunt some copper down. The only problem with that is it's a little ways away, unfortunately. A little ways away. In fact, if I do it, uh, fudge. I think we go find that right there. We find that. It's due east. It's up on the hill. Okay. It's up on the hill, all right. We might have to do the Fortnite thing. <clears> hmm. <throat> okay, yeah, we might have to do the Fortnite thing. I think it's up on that hill. Okay. I think I can see it. I think that's what that is up there. All right. Uh Are there any creatures around here that we're pissing off yet? Oh, I hear it. I hear something. Let's do the four meter ramp. Okay. Build one. <coughs> Two. Three. Four. Okay. Where are you at? Alright. <clears throat> I think it's up there. I think it's up there. Copper. Yep, right there. We 
which means anytime you see these um, deposits, there's going to be something around to defend it. Because apparently, little Xeno thingies love copper and iron and limestone. Who knew? By the way, these things you see walking around and flying around, to my knowledge, not dangerous. They'll bump you around a little bit. Okay, this guy. Okay, yep. He sees us. Okay. Come on. Come to Papa. Can't see ya. Come on. Come on, where you at? Got him. Where'd he go? There he is. He did. Okay, so that one's gone. So is it just this one copper? What? What? Okay, that's you. That's you, right? Okay, good. Woo! We took a couple of hits from that guy. Okay. Let's E this away. Oh, no. E. There you go. Okie dokie. So, with that in mind... Okay, we should be able to run the conveyor right down there. Maybe? Let's see. Uh, production. Minor. Okay. Okay. And drop. Drop that there. Get it attached. Okay, how far can we extend this bad boy? Right there. Okay. Now, how far can we run a conveyor? It's not going to be very far, unfortunately. Is it? To. Yeah, a little bit of clipping there. Not the end of the world. I hear something crunching. No, that can't be good. Okay, conveyor right there. There we go. At least we get it down to the ground. Yes, it's clipping. Not perfect. Whatever. Okay, that gets us going. So now let's go ahead and connect this power up. Question is, can we hook to this? Do we have the, okay, yes, good. Okay, fuse broken because we overstressed the power system. Why did we do that? Because one of these ran out? Or maybe I didn't put biomass in both of them. Okay, the other one never had biomass, did it? No, it did not. Alrighty then, let's go ahead and put a bunch in. Okay, so what we can do, you see this little panel right here? We can pull the lever, reset, and we're good. We simply exceeded, um, we exceeded both power plants, or one, one of the power plants' ability to do what it needs to do. Alright, so we split those. Alright. So both of them are fully loaded with biomass, which is excellent. How much other stuff do I have? I have a few leaves. Let's 
sort them, reconsolidate. Okay. All right, let's get some more conveyor belt material. Now that we're going to have copper coming in. Uh, and conveyor belt material is going to require iron plates. All right, we'll get some more. I've only got a handful of ingots here. Or, I only have the ability to make a handful of ingots based on the iron that I have in my inventory. Alright, what are we collecting here? Alright. Okay, so now... What are we currently... Let's see, our maximum consumption is 27. Which means with the between the two we have the oh right there it says capacity forty. So what we could do is um let me think how I want to do this. Um let's get a smelter set up over here. Do I have the ability to make one? Yes. Okay. Let's put it over here, out of the way of that other iron patch. And this one we're going to tell to make copper ingots. <coughs> and... Oh, need iron plates. I want to give it a container. Oh, yeah, also, we're going to have to do this. Attach that to there. Okay, it's going to work on copper, but we need iron plates. A lot of iron plates. the ability to make any more. Yes, I do. Okay. Build our container. Okay, it'll actually give you like sort of a blue line or green line to show you that you're lined up with the entrance. Just saw it right there. Okay, what are we lined up with there? Can't see it. Can't see how well it's lined up. Right there. Boom. Okay. And we'll run this to there. And then let's see how far we can build this thing. All the way over here. Might be difficult. And it... it gives you in real time a uh, an, not an estimate it gives you it tells you what it's going to cost you to build whatever it is however long this belt is you're trying to build it will tell you let go oh, missing two plates really okay well that's okay I'll drop it a little bit short which leaves me the ability to split the belt later and put another smelter there, if I really want to. If the smelters are just running too slow. Okay, now how fast is this consuming my biomass? Not bad. Not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. We're good. Alright, so let's go back here, grab some more iron. Okay. 
Okay. And more iron plates. At least it saves us a step. We don't have to create our our uh, iron ingots ourselves. Small blessings. Ugh. Screws. I gotta make screws. But I need iron rods in order to make them. inside. There we go. And now we should start seeing uh, copper ingots come out. Alright. Where are we at for power? Uh, still good. Not great, but still good. And, yep, we got copper ingots coming in. Excellent. And let's go ahead and pick up this present over here. They're every freaking where. Alright, so if I look under Q, special. Okay, I can build a space elevator, but I need a lot of materials to do it. The space elevator is sort of a it's this on steroids there's yet another system another uh, way for which the fix-it corporation can reach you to tell you what it wants you to do um, but uh, it is pretty fascinating to see put the gifts away uh, I'll take the leaves I'll get the alien used to be called an alien carapace, but not anymore. One of the updates, they've changed the name of that to something most people can understand. There were hog remains. Alright, um... Do I have the ability to create a constructor? I don't think I do. I think I need reinforced plates. No, I can't. I can. Um... Okay, we can get on top of this. Alright, right there. Okay. And let's go ahead and configure this thing. It's going to make cable. Or wire, not cable, it's going to make wire. So, but we need to power it. And how loaded is this line? You can't connect any more lines. Okay. What about that one over there? Okay, that one... It won't connect to this one, but I'll make another pole for this. I don't want all my nodes maxed out because then I can't expand. And with that, can I make another storage container? No. All right. I already told this thing to make wire, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, so I need iron poles. Oh, no, I already got a bunch of ingots. Let's go ahead and beat them up. And then I have to make screws. How many screws did I say? 300? Yep, right there. 300. Boy. Hmm. Yawn. Alright, got rid 
of those. Okay. How many... <coughs> Let's see if I can make a whole bunch of screws and see how many iron rods that still leaves me. Okay, 300 divided by 4 is 75. So, I should be left with a bunch of iron rods still. Iron, yeah, iron rods, that's what they're called. I haven't given them the plates yet, have I? Six, Dylan. Okay. And I still have 41 iron rods left over. Out oh, freaking standing. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Iron plates. We're going to go over and get some... Oh, do I have the ability to make more iron plates? No, I don't because I used all my ingots. So I'll grab some more ingots. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what did I say? I, need, I can use iron plates because I need to build a crate, I need to build a storage container, and I need to build associated belts. So, we need plates. A lot of grindy stuff in the beginning. Ultimately, our goal is to have this and do all of this for us. Alright. That ought to at least give us enough to create the container. It's not a perfect match, but the, uh, the constructor in this looks like it might have been the inspiration for the assembly machine in Dyson Sphere program. All I'm saying. Yep, and there go the spools of wire. In there. Okay. So our wire will start to collect. We got screws taken care of. How many iron plates do I have? More than enough to check this block. So that's checked, and now I just need to get the, uh, I just need to get the, uh, spools of wire taken care of. Okay, so let's go ahead and top off power plants. Alright, uh, also, I would... Kind of like to explore a little bit. Actually, you know what? What we need to do is find a nice flat spot to build. Like right here, this is pretty flat. Ah, uh, sorry. Forgive me. This is pretty flat. So what we can do... Let's start in on it, but... How much... Uh, we're not going to be able to build a ton. But we can, you can at least get the idea of what we're trying to do here. We need more concrete, and we definitely need more iron plates. So... Maybe if we get up on this rock... All right. Um, now the only thing I don't like about building here is you've got all these these caustic things over there to build around. But we can we can probably work around it.
Okay, now I've got the ability to make four more. Okay, there we go. So this is the start of a platform. It's the start of a factory. What we can do... Is there anything that we can actually... Let's just pick something. Um, We did the equipment workshop. Did we get the ma'am yet? No, we don't get the ma'am. Constructor, now look. Now, we can only put it in line with the grid. It can snap to the grid. It snaps in certain places. So, this is a great way to line up belts. You can line these things up. Whereas, if we go onto the ground, you can see we can put it almost anywhere we want. We can rotate it any way we want, almost. But up here, it forces us into a more organized grid. And that's kind of what we want. So, we'll start... Um... I can't build any more foundations because I need more iron plates. That's fine. But you can see what we're trying to do. That's cool. Uh, ooh, 210. Yes. We'll take that. Bring it over here. Okay, now, you may be asking, well, what happens when you exceed the capacity of your power plant? Well, right now the capacity is 40 megawatts. We're producing anywhere from, um, looks like, 17 to 35. So, as machines turn on, that uh, eats the power. Obviously, we're going to one day grow past that point. So what we can do is we create another biomass burner. I don't have the materials to make it, but we can we can produce another, which I believe has... I mean, help me out. Biomass burner, 30 megawatts. Okay, it'll give us 30 megawatts. These are 20s right there. Those two 20s will give us 40. But a single one of the big ones will give us 30 megawatts total. Add it to the 40 we've got. Capacity for 70. All right, we can grab that. All right, anything else? No, we're still waiting. We're just waiting on the. We're just waiting on the wire. Boom. Okay, we need 29 more. And I think. We'll go around and collect some more biomass. We're going to need it. Grabby, grabby. Okay, that's a cave. Um, I don't think we want to delve too deep into here. Bad things come out of these caves. Not yet. I don't have a very big Xeno Zapper here. There, we actually get better quote-unquote weapons. Better melee weapons later on. I'm looking around for, like, bits of wood in the ground. I'm not seeing them. Ah, right there. Okay, see, again, not harmful. They're just there. seeing any unfriendlies. I'm just looking for specimens as well. There's a couple of different types of plants. There's another one. It's like a mushroom. 
Looks kind of like a bacon mushroom, to be honest. But I'm not seeing it. I'm not sure if there's a specific place that they always grow. But, uh... Okay, well, we're gonna stay away from him. We don't need to go this far just yet. I'd like to pick up some more wood. Giggity. Yeah, the bacon mushroom things, every time I've seen them, they've kind of been tucked up against the wall. But I'm not seeing them at the moment. Uh, a rock wall. And I don't think this all grows back. I hear it. I hear a hog thing. I swear I hear it. Something snorting. Nope, not seeing it. Everything seems to be going okay. I'm thinking I hear something. That's more limestone if we wanted to get more, but I think we're getting enough as it is. Now this green haze over here this can be used later, this nastiness over here, but not yet. And we can get protection from it. So we can start to harvest it, but we're not there yet. It's early, early game. Oh, then there's this bird thing, which I don't think they're harmful, but we'll leave it alone for now. One of these days, I'm going to find out that, that, like, if I try to kill it, I'll piss it off and it'll be like chickens in Legend of Zelda. Oh, see, I'm hearing things now. You remember Legend of Zelda? You must remember Legend of Zelda. Piss off the chickens and they will peck you to death. Alright, well... Hmm. Not seeing the bacon mushrooms anywhere. I just keep looking. If I hear sounds, I'm like, something trying to kill me yet? Not yet. All right. I have to ask. Okay, we should have enough copper cable now, copper wire, to uh, to go ahead and fulfill our checklist. Must must have it by now. Okay, and I've got so many, so much leaf biomass. We should be good. Yeah, we should be good. Ooh, blue slug. Yes, we'll take it. Okay, these can be used 
to overclock, we can we can. This semi slug seems to emit unfamiliar energy readings, which could potentially be retrofitted into fix it technology. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Okay, well, we're not we don't have the MAM yet. We'll get there. The MAM is sort of like a, a laboratory. I just can't remember. Material analysis module or something. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Oh, you know what though? Uh, let's go ahead and pop this into here. Oh, we'll take that biomass. And that's all that we can crank into there. Okay, fine. That'll make biomass for us. Meantime, let's take what we do have, put it into the power plant, pop it off, keep production going. All right, uh, what do we got for biomass? Split it, one goes there, and one goes there. Let's check and see how much wire we've got. More than enough. Boom. And let me... Oh. Come on. That's right. Send it on its way. Dump this stuff the map in here. Has been unlocked. Milestone reached. The molecular analysis machine, That's referred it. to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. To okay. ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has there been provided, are. as well Can as I an build object it? scanner. Oh, I need reinforced and plates. Okay. Note. The object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. Let's see if I can make some reinforced iron plates. <coughs> Excuse me. remember how many I need. Alright. Uh, to build the ma'am. Where is it? Is that everything? No, I need copper cables. Crap, not not wire, but cable. It's sort of a thicker version of the wire. Okay. So I'm thinking... Okay, you know what? I'll put the MAM here for now, but I can always break it down and put it on the platform. Alright. Uh, okay, basically it's just a laboratory. <clears throat> let's see what we can do. Okay, to configure it, let's start with alien organisms. We can research different things that we find. Um... So let's grab the alien carapace, or the hog remains, whatever they're called. And let's research that. Okay, hog research and see what it gives us. The analysis is complete, please choose a new mode. And then it goes to this thing. All right, now there's a whole bunch of other things that we can get. Like I want this rebar gun, I really want that. Um, Expanded tool belt, yes. 
hostile organism. Oh, wait, can we actually do this now? Oh, not yet. Research parent node to make available. Okay, poo. All right, um, power slugs. We found one. So I'll show you what we can do with that. Let's grab the slug and we bring it over here to the man. Uh, right there. Start the research. The analysis of the blue power slug is completed. Please choose a new node. All right. Now, okay, overclock production. So, oh, it gave us the power shard. It gave us uh, something called a power shard. Okay. Now, in order to scannable objects, uh, slug scanning. So it's going to cost us those items to scan it. Okay. So we need screws, rods, and cable, or wire. Okay. But the, these power shards, let's go ahead and we find them, we'll see if we can actually make one. We can't make one now. However, what it does, it's mucus in the power slugs compressed into a solid crystal-like shard. It radiates a strange power. What it will do is overclock some of our items. They will produce faster but I think they'll consume more power in the process. All right. Uh, what else? Okay, so alien organisms. We did one of those. Nutrients. Okay, this... Yeah, it's a bacon agaric. Okay, it's a bacon mushroom. Okay, we don't have one. But what we do have... is... Raspberries and nuts. All right. We already did that. Nutrients. All right. Let's research the pale berry. Okay. Let's research the nut. Okay, so we'd have to do the bacon thing in order to go to the next item. Which apparently is a nutritional processor. Right, we don't have the ability to do that. Okay, right here. Let's... Do we have 100 presents? I don't know if we do. Nope, we do not. No, not even close. So we would need more of those to do that research. Then, so nutrients, holiday event, alien organisms. Yeah, there's nothing left we can do, but that's the ma'am. That's what that does for us. All right, uh, da, 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 da. got a whole bunch of leaves. leaves up there. And let's top off the power supply. And I really need to get more iron plates. So I think what I'm going to do... Oh, it's power plants. Yeah, top them off. I think what I'm going to do is... have iron plates be built automatically. Okay, yeah, let's do that. If we can. Can I build a constructor? Um, yes, just barely. I have just enough reinforced iron plates to do, or reinforced yeah, reinforced iron plates. That's what they're called. Mm. All right. Facts. 
Let's see. I will make iron plates. Ah, I'm short one iron plate. Daggum it. Well. Huh. Do I have enough iron ingots? I've got plenty. Alright. Should be able to make some iron plates. Now I gotta find a place to hook up more power. More, uh more accessories that will be powered. Alright. Let's try this. done and now can I make another storage container uh, oh personal storage box right storage container yes we can and we're gonna put this puppy right on top of that which we can do it is stackable uh, conveyor belt is too steep really I put it over here and then make it go up? How about that? Iron ingot. Oh, this thing doesn't have power. Right. I need to give it power. Do any of these have any nodes left over? I made I think I made a mistake. I filled these up. I filled all the nodes. That was a mistake. Oh, except this one. I didn't fill this one up. Okay, let's, uh... One to here. Okay, where are we at for power? Huh? We boosted it up. Third maximum consumption is 35. We are bumping right up against our 40 max. Alright, let me grab some more concrete. And then we'll start laying out some foundations, because I'd really kind of like to get more iron production, more everything production. And we can what we can do, we can make a whole bunch of these biomass burners and put them in one place, consolidate them in one place, and that can be sort of our manually fed power plant. All right, so if I was to make more foundations, what materials? Do, what more materials do I need? Ah, I, can, I can make 18 more platforms, and I'll bet that number will go up if I go over here and grab some of these iron plates. A few more. A few more. So let's see if we can make a bigger stage. Well, it is past 8 o'clock. What time is it? 8.09? Okay, yeah, it's time to consider wrapping this up. Okay, one, two, three, four. Seven, eight. Eleven. Twelve. And I can do thirteen more.
eight. Okay, now you're seven. Really? One more? One more? Okay, for that I need more iron plates. Alright, we we'll fight the map. Oh, there we are. Boom. Okay, awesome. Okay, so here we are. Now, here's our lab and everything. Here's areas that we have access to, apparently. Um, I need to get up higher so I can view a little more. Okay, okay, so if I do, I get off the map, and then let's find out where the copper is. Let's take a look at this and see if it shows up on the map. Yes. Yep, more copper over there. Okay, there's one. That's up in the hills. You can see that that's claimed, meaning I've already got a mining machine on it, and there's more copper over here. Okay, now with that in mind, let's go to iron ore. Let's go to map. Yep, more iron, more iron, plenty more iron. Yeah, lots more iron. Okay, beautiful. So now, at least we can get an idea where we want to go, where we can go. Alright. Iron plates. Alright, we'll grab that. Alright, now let's see what we can do over here. Alright, next one to unlock, next tier. <coughs> 150 iron plates, 150 rods, and 300 cables. And that'll give us mergers, conveyor lifts, productivity display. If I use that, I don't know. Okay, what can I actually... I'll choose this. Select a milestone, okay. And put something into everything. And now we see it in the upper right corner as the thing we need to strive for. Okay, we should have enough here. 488, yeah, okay, so that takes care of that. Those are, those are the uh, those are the ingots. I don't want those. I want those. Now, what we can do is we can grab a few of these and make a bunch of iron plates and iron rods. We can try that. Do it over here manually. I bet it'll go faster. <clears throat> so 58. That means we need 92. 92 iron plates. And we need 148 iron rods. Okay, so we get rid of those. Plates. Um, all right, we check that off. And now let's go with the iron rods. We need 100 and <coughs> 148 we should have enough we have enough materials to make that so let's go ahead and we'll get the iron rods taken care of and that should check us out of tier 1 and we can get a look at tier 2 before we close the stream out uh, what did I say we need 148 and we're getting to that pretty quickly. That's good. All right, one, seven, eight. Got it. Got it. Got it. And bam. All right. Milestone reached. 
Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. Beautiful. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Well, that's the plan. All right. Is there anything we can do on the MAM? Did anything come available? Uh, zero percent. Okay, we needed a bunch more of that. Okay, the slugs. Um, oh, right. Okay, what did we need for that? A lot more screws. A lot more rods. Huh? All right, let's see if this... I want to look at the... Before we close out the stream, I want to actually look at the... Uh, let's go ahead and make these rods. I want to actually look at the next tier and see what that's going to give us. That'd be nice. We'll use out what ingots we do have. Make a bunch of these rods. And then... What did it, what did it say we needed? Power slug. Um... Okay, so we need 14 more iron rods. We've got enough wire and a whole bunch of screws. Okay, so we need more iron rods. Let's grab some more ingots. Because whatever we make, we're going to need more of these. All right. Where are these coming? Just grab a stack. We'll use them. Uh, I think it said 200 screws. We need a whole bunch of iron rods. And I think it, the number was 14. Okay, so if we deposit those... No, we can't actually deposit them, can we? Damn, okay. Um, so we met that. So now we need to maintain 50 rods, but we need 200 screws. But we make the screws with rods. So that's a little bit of a pain. So let's go ahead and take care of the screws and then we'll do the rods again. So what did I say, 200 screws? Yeah, that's a lot of screws. To hand craft, it's actually not a lot to, uh, it's not a lot as far as the game's concerned. When you start automating production, you will use a ton of screws. Okay, why did it stop? Please stop. Okay, that takes care of that. Now let's go ahead and take care of the rods. And I think we said we needed 50. Oh, I'm assuming that was the rocket returning. Okay, yep, I think that's the rocket returning. We'll find out, we'll take a look at the next tier. Power slugs, boom. Oh, scannable object. Okay, I get it. Okay, so, so please use a new mode. Okay. So that means if I go to V... No, I guess not. Okay. Scannable object. I'm not quite sure what that means. Okay, here we go. Let's see if there's anything. Part assembly. Huh? Okay, we're going to need these rotors. Oh, the chainsaw and biofuel. That might be the next one. Jump pads, meh. Awesome sink. Yep, that's good, but not great. Okay. The next conveyor belt up, and the stackable conveyor pulls are good, but the, the uh, obstacle clearing, that's tight right there. We want that. Okay. So, let's go ahead. Boom. Boom and screws we're gonna have to make a ton of screws but the way i see it we've just about reached the end of the stream for today i think 
So I think we're going to call it a stream and, call it and bring it to an end. So anyway, next time around, I think I want to keep doing this game. Next stream, I don't know when that's going to be. Unfortunately, I really need to come up with a schedule. Um, but I think this is the next one. I really enjoy this. Have fun playing. I hope you all have fun playing when you finally get your hands on it as well, if you haven't already. Um, and uh, I'm just enjoying it. So anyway, I hope to see you all next time. Y'all have a wonderful day.